Okay, folks. Welcome back to the World of Ark. Episode 25. When we left off last episode, we had tamed that perfect level, that perfect uh, 150 Therizinosaurus tickle chicken. And then the Lord provided a 140, and I've been breeding them. And I've been breeding them off camera. These are the two breeders, uh, the male and the female. Uh, this is the line of them. This is the ancestry. We have mutations. We have 54 mutations over here. It multiplied for some reason in a weird way in 28 over here. Uh, I say it multiplied in a weird way. Uh, show ancestor. It multiplied in a weird way because here you can see uh, it originally started off with a 224 and a 224. I'm sorry, not 224. 224 and a 209. That was the that was the um, 150 and the 140. Okay, and I bred them together until I got a mutation. You don't see the mutation here, okay? Uh, because I bred the mutations in, and then I bred the mutation back with the parents until I got more mutations, and that's the way you do it. So you don't see the whole whole line because it would be like a hundred long. You only see the ones where I breed them back with the parents. Uh, so that way they get the looks of the parents. These are the colors from the mutations. I did not change any colors in the uh, best eggs mod. So I have this one here and I have seven others in here. So we're gonna hatch some of these up just to get the colors, just to see what colors we get, because I want to get that blue. I want to get kind of this guy's colors, the uh, the father's colors, for our main fairy. Uh, then we're gonna run over there and do a cave real quick. But we're not gonna. I mean, we're. I don't really care if I get a boy or girl. It doesn't matter to me. Uh. So that one's got the blue, so that's good. Grow up. This was not what I was planning on doing today, but I thought you guys would want to see this. I'm thinking, I'm already thinking about the army that we're going to be taking into the bosses. And I'm thinking about taking, because you can take, uh, I don't remember if it's 20 creatures or if it's 30. I don't remember which number it is. This one's got the exact colors of the father, I believe. Yeah. Actually, it's got the orange of the mother. So, that one may be, that one may be our main theory. So, I'm thinking, if we can take 20 creatures in, then we're going to have 8 fairies. Therizinosaurus, tickle chickens. We're going to have 2 rexes, uh... A male and a female. We're going to have uh, two spinos, a male and a female. We're going to have uh, two megatheriums, a male and a female. And then we're going to have a uteranus and a male and a female. I mean, a male or a female, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to have a healing pig. And then maybe a woolly mammoth, and then maybe some, uh... So this is going to be our girl. Because she's got the pink, she's got the yellow, she's got the purple, she's got the blue, she's got the orange. She's got all the colors, so... So does this one. But you know what? I think I'm just going to stick with this one way over here. We're just going to take her with us. Uh... We're going to take Eye Punch with us too, just in case. Now, sometimes uh, when you cryopod flyers, especially when you have a flyer mod on, like classic flyers, their stats get a, a little messed up. So I'm going to get one cryopod, because uh, it's safe to do it in cryopods, but sometimes doing it in other mods, it, it will reset their, their stats. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to use the cryopod for eye punch and then we're going to use this gun for 
the fairy. So this will always be Eye Punch's uh, cryopod. Yeah, let's go ahead and just, you know what, put all that in three. Oh, I forgot to do the imprints. And we need to go upstairs and get our uh, bear cat. Imprint. Yes. So we'll go ahead and head upstairs. Get the bear cat, which I'm still waiting on names for in the comments. Because I just finished recording the episode before this. Uh, there's uh, the female monkey that we still got to deal with. Hello, girl. You got anything in your inventory? No? Alright, can you get in my pocket, please? Alright, jump over. Alright, everybody gets a imprint potion besides you two. Because you're the mom and dad. So, imprint for you. Imprint for you. Imprint for you. Imprint for you. You see the numbers that it's going up. We'll, we'll compare it when we get to the one we're actually going to use as ours. And uh, we'll take it out and head over to the cave that we was almost at yesterday, at the last episode, when we saw the 140. Okay, so the stats beforehand. Uh, this is with all the mutations that it has on it. It has health mutations, stamina, and melee. I didn't uh, keep any mutations that was for weight, food, oxygen, or movement speed. I only kept mutations that had health, stamina, or melee. So these are the before stats. The health is 10... 267, the stamina is 1800, and the melee is 687. So, in the health, uh, oh yeah, I already said health. After imprint, so it went up by 6000 there. The stamina didn't go up any, although that may be the glitch. Sometimes there's a glitch. Let's put your saddle on, put you in two, put you in two, put you in three you in three sometimes there's a glitch when they're a baby and their stats don't process right so uh, let me gamma up again show you the therizinosaurus if you do not know it uh, the reason I call it the tickle chicken is one of its moves the right click uh, the left click is its swipe that's why they are boss killers because it can it can that attack is faster than the Rex or the Spinos bites. It's faster than the uh, Spinos slap also, but it doesn't get the water buff. The reason these are so good is because they have a because of their feathers they have resistance to uh, fire, which you need a resistance to when you're fighting the dragon. Now, they, these guys are one of the best gatherers. In fact, we may retire some of our gatherers, like the beaver. I know that sounds sad that we're going to be retiring one of our gatherers, but the left click, it gathers wood and thatch. Not as good as the beaver, but a lot faster. And uh, these guys are a lot more powerful than beavers. So the left click is that. Then you have the C key, which gathers berries when you bite bushes. It can also gather a little bit of wooden thatch if you bite a tree. But then the right click, this is the magic button. The tickle button. This is why I call them tickle chickens. Because they tickle with those huge claw fingers they have. And that, that gets you fiber. Lots and lots of fiber. But not only do they get beet, uh, meat, berries, fiber, wood, thatch, but they are very, very good killers. And they gather meat. They gather chitin. 
and they are very good at killing. Not the right click or the C. That that doesn't doesn't do that doesn't do much damage. See, that only does 55 per tickle. And the C button, come back here, come back here, only does 579. Whereas the left left click, 723 per swipe, and you're looking at like three swipes per second. So that's like 2,100 swipes. I mean, 2,100 damage per second. I'll show you compared to this other guy. Just like that. Dead. And I haven't even pumped levels in this guy. This is a freshly hatched baby. It does have a lot of mutations. You eyesore, get out of here. Okay, so. We're going to that, um... We're going to that one cave that we was at yesterday, uh, in the last episode. So we're just going to head straight down this beach and then turn left at the river up here. That's a brightly colored one right there. Uh, level 8. I'll let it live. I'll let it live. So, see how I'm just running and gathering, running and gathering, running and gathering. That's why the Therizinosaurus is one of the best mounts in the game. That's why they're a boss killer. So here's where we turn left. Well, we missed. It was just out of range. We're just going to follow this stream until we get to that big waterway, and then we're going to go around the waterway. Get out of here, you drunk. You want beer? They look kind of funny when they're running, too. Especially if you start doing some of the attacks, which the right click you can do while you're running. Excuse me there, Parasaur. Okay, here's the big waterway. We're just going to go right around it and up that hill and then jump off on the other side at the cliff where the where that cave is. Smack, 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 smack. <laughs> uh, this is why people love the, the theory. Because they are a force to be reckoned with. With all these mutations on it. Oh, get out of here, Micro Raptor. You're not knocking me off. Even something like this that has uh, a lot of health. And remember, I have not pumped anything into this thing's... Uh, I have not pumped any p skill points. And it has a lot already, because we've been killing and gathering the whole way over here. Oh, look. The sun is bright. It's right there going down. And hop off. Deploy parachute. Oh, yeah. They auto-gather. I forgot, I forgot to mention that. If you park them right next to a... To stuff they will auto auto gather it so if you put them on wander also when you have um, leveled them up they then can uh, because this is gonna be a boss fighter we want a lot of health on it and then we want stamina because the more stamina ha you have the longer you can run around smacking things uh, we're just gonna put one of these into each then when you want some weight because it's going to be a gatherer and the rest in the melee okay so this guy's going to be pretty hurt for a while let's uh, go to gamma 3 so she's going to be hurt for a while uh, she can't actually fit in this cave but uh, I might just leave her out here to heal while we're in the cave. Nothing's going to aggro onto her. Uh, she's... And if they do, well... They're going to be in trouble. So we're going to just put her on neutral. We're actually going to go into this cave. Uh, is this the cave we can... Do on foot? She should be perfectly fine out here. 
now we have our new K friend which is uh, the bear cat oh, we got this guy this girl just for and of course I throw her out right when I don't need to alright alright I'll wait till I get past these crystals up ahead you see the glowing red crystals That's right, folks. This is a lava cave. Ooh, all that stuff straight ahead. Make sure it didn't follow me. All right, girl. Time for you to earn your keep. Let's prove to the world they don't mess with a bear cat. We're not even going to worry about. Oh, there went a megalania. Those things are pretty rare. There's another one straight ahead. We need their toxin for uh, the apex drops for some of the bosses. Look at all these bats. Oh, look at you bats. You guys uh, would have scared me before this bear cat was hatched. Before she was born. But you don't scare me now. No, you do not. Don't want to fall in that lava. Come here, bats. Come here, bats. Goodbye, bats. Oh, the spiders webbed me. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? I think I'm going to let the bear cat eat you. Man, i got to get a name for this thing. Calling it the bear cat. We're just going to keep going down, down, down. Whoa, you don't want to fall in that lava. That's a sure way to die. I mean, it's not a sure way. You can get out. If you have enough health and a grappling gun, you can survive. And this bear cat, I don't know if I can climb on the walls in this cave. I'm about to test it. I don't know if I can climb on the walls down in the lava. Let's see if I can climb on the walls in the cave. Uh, they're not up straight up and down, so I can't test it. That's right, come along now. Come on, come on. When you see things like this, you can, uh, do I have Helena? I do not, but I do have this chibi. I need to start using my chibi. Uh, chibi is a little creature that you apply to your shields, shield slot, or you can put it actually on a shield. And uh, I need to start carrying one of them because there's one called Helena. And uh, she's named after one of the survivors that you find the explorer notes. So you just put it in your offhand slot. We're going to name this thing Ugly. This is the one you get uh, if you have the DLC uh, Genesis maps. And you can see it right there beside me on the ground. It's not a real creature. It can't do any damage. It doesn't take any damage. It doesn't require food. But it does It does do stuff every now and then. Uh, but if you see um, throughout the map, there's throughout the maps, the story maps, there's certain places like right here where if you have the Helena one, you get a special explorer's note that will pop up. Now I could jump across there. Actually, I don't have have my pistol right here. We can trick these spiders across. They're gonna come right across and jump in the lava like clowns. Come on. And I can just jump across with this bear cat. Or I can go around the right hand side there. See that spider we tricked it. This is the more dangerous way. Because you fall in that lava, you're likely going to die. It's not wise of me to do this. Okay. 
Hello, bats. Meet the bear cat. And the monkey, King Louie. He's got a name. King Louis Blaze. Blaze is his last name, so I guess he would be Mr. Blaze. Is this really a dead end? Hmm. It appears to be a dead end. It's got a lot of obsidian and rich metal nodes over here, so maybe that was the purpose of this place over here. Ooh, that was so close. Oh, I landed right on that guy's head. Hello, spiders. Hello, bats. Yeah, we're just gonna come through here, just munching away. Really? I know, all of you are angry, right? You're upset that I invaded your home. You see a human, you want to kill me. Whoa, no running, no running in here now. Look at that spider sitting in that lava. Let's pull those bats over here too. Hey, bats. I know I hit that couple of times. My crosshairs was... oh, well. I guess because he's not anymore. Ooh. Let's just let those spiders fall in the lava. Yep. Yep, that's what you get. You live in a cave with lava, you're gonna get lava on you. There's an explorer's note. There's the uh, artifact straight ahead. And I meant to get us an otter. So that way when we start getting these artifacts, we can uh, get multiple ones. You know what? I'm not going to attempt that jump. Because if I jump too high and hit the ceiling, I'm coming back down in that lava. So we're just going to go around this way. Hello, Dilophosaurs. You're not spitting in my eyes today. And you're not spitting in the bear cat's eyes. Uh, get, can you? Can you? Yeah, there you go, girl. Good job. Can you fit through here? Oh, here comes the angry spiders, the angry bats. Yeah, yeah. How you like that? <laughs> that guy came out of the ceiling. And which scorpions do? They do live on ceilings of caves and in ceilings and people's basements and stuff. Not ceilings, but the what would be considered the ceiling of their basement. I used to work in pest control for like seven years. I got out of that field of work. Oh, got him in the air because, you know reasons here we go that's one of the ones we needed for the uh, green obelisk I mean for the uh, spider the brood mother if you don't have a jumping creature then you can do this cave with a grappling hook or you can make that jump yourself you know what we're just gonna head to the left just gonna keep heading to the left. Bats. As long as we're seeing creatures, then we know we haven't gone this way. Or things are respawning a lot faster than I thought they would. 
Hello, bats. Ha 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 ha! Yeah. You're not the only ones that can fly, are you? I'm gonna come out here with a lot of chitin, that's for sure. Oh, I know. You're scary, right? Not scary to me right now. Ooh, now this is kind of scary. Nope, I was afraid I was going to hit my head. And be knocked back down. Now that is kind of scary. Right here by this lava, this lake of lava. Later on, in uh, the Genesis DLC, which is one of the worst DLCs. But it does have some cool creatures in it. There's a drop over there. Is it worth going for? Um, there's some creatures called magmasaurs that actually live in the lava. Once you tame one, you can come to this map and just crawl down there and just walk around in it. Whoo-wee, that was... That was, uh, not very wise of me. I'm glad I stayed on this bear cap. For a second there, I was thinking I would just get off and hop over here on my own two feet, but... Seeing how these guys want to crawl out of the walls, yikes. I'm glad I stayed on my bear cat. Oh, I'm on top of it. Well, that might be the thumbnail. <laughs> Going caving with my giant bear cat. And it is a stone pick. It's an ascendant stone pick. Whew. Jesus, thank you, Lord God, for not letting me fall in that bloody mess. Okay. Now we're back here. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. There you go, girl. Up. Up. And out. Can you get by? Just gonna keep going to the left. Can you get by? Uh, yep. This is where I have to cryopod you. Used to, you wouldn't be able to bring creatures in here that were big because of the very reason of these crystals. You know what? I don't even know if I can break these crystals. Some crystals you can't break. Some are put there for a reason. Some of the map. Let's try this. Oh, you could. You could break those. But we're not. We did it, Therizinosaurus. Let me check what time it is. See if we have time for another cave run, maybe. Five. Uh, no. No, I don't think we did. This is about 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, buddy. I didn't really mean to kill you. So we're just going to kill and harvest our, our our way back. You know what? I can't put up with that uh, flashing the whole way back. So we're going to make a heal potion. Feed it to this girl. Here you go, girl. Eat this, please. Now her health will stop flashing at me. Let's lower that brightness down also. That might be too low for you guys. Give me the chitin. Give it to me, please. It's inside of you and I need it. There's Herbivore Island. If we wanted to head over there. For any reason in particular. Uh-oh, Bronto, you're in my path. She can't stop. She's steamrolling it. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. You're in the path, too. Oh, look, a T-Rex. Are you any good? Uh, level 100. Hmm. 
but it has, let's see, 11 points in stamina, 15 in health, and 12 in melee. So no, it's not any better than the ones we have. Look, I wasn't part of you guys' fight, but this tickle chicken can definitely handle herself. Hello ants, goodbye ants. Hello ants, goodbye ants. Hello ants. You wasn't in the path, so you live. You are, though. You're in the path. Sorry, you're in the path. She's leaving a path of destruction. I don't want to cross the deep water. This is why you don't use the Therizinosaurus in the water. See how slow it swims. No, Triceratops, sorry. We're harvesting and killing a path back to our base. Better watch out, Galley. Oh, gotcha. Gotta harvest you up now. Watch out, Iguanodon. No. Oh, gotta harvest you up. It's not that I wanted to, it's just that I set this rule for myself that I'm gonna harvest and kill all the way back to base. Give to me the fibers. Get out of the way. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. And we turn here at the river. In our base. Is that the end of this river? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't know what you are, but you're not anymore. I did catch more chickens, not chickens, dodos off camera. We're just going to keep going straight till we get to end of this. Our base is straight ahead to our left. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Look at that. We've got 58,000, 62,000, 63,000 fiber. Oh, I didn't mean to kill you, but you know what? I gave myself rules. Straight path. You're part of the path, so... That means you get to be harvested. Just like you, sir. Ma'am. Triceratops. Oh, don't want to be harvested anymore. I like my wooded entrance. Alright, we have returned, folks. I'll show you the dodo cage. My army of Therizinosauruses. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Just whoa. So, get that melee up. Get some more speed in there. This is going to be our girl right here. Oh. Uh oh. This is what happens when you are too heavy to run. Oh, I shouldn't have taken all of her inventory. So slow. No. Oh, so heavy. Oh, I can do like the slow motion run. Oh, excuse me, sir. Ma'am. Whatever you are. Can't, I can't jump when I'm this slow. Slowly making my way to the base. Slowly making my way to the base. Hello, Sally. Go around, Sally. To the fabricator where we can drop off our 10,000, wait, no, 100,000 fiber plus 4,000 more. And then all this wood. Wow. See? That's why you want a Therizinosaurus, people. That is why you want a Therizinosaurus. Amazing gatherer that it is. Seed. Not deed. 
Get out of my pocket seeds. Go on now. Crystal. Oh, I'm just jumping back and forth, back and forth. Get this out, get this out, get out, get out, get out, get out, all of you. Uh, I haven't showed you guys what a rare mushroom does. Let's see. I'll show you next episode. This episode's almost over. I'm just going to go show you the chicken coop. Get my arrows over there. And then we're going to be done. Get the, that and... Uh, Let's see here. Put this stuff over here. Uh, this can go in there. And then three. Yeah, all that can go in there. Didn't I put stuff in four? Yeah. Oh. Yeesh. All right, then. All this can go in here. You know what? Transfer all. Alphabetize that. Give me the berries back. Give me the megalania toxin. Give me the berries. Give me that. Drop this on the ground with the O key. Give me that. Give me that. No, I'm not keeping that, people. I have a metal one. What is my metal one at? Let's see. That one does 140, like, uh, 158 damage. This one does 414, but... The durability is much lower. I'll have to repair it more often. But I can repair this one out in the field, whereas I can't repair this one out in the field. But I don't really use it a lot. I have the Yankee for this type of stuff now. 141. Uh, you know what? Salvage items. I committed, folks. I committed and just salvaged it all. So that's how it is. Sometimes you get the resources, sometimes you get the loot. And today, it was the resources. So, put the berries in there. The megalania toxin actually needs to go in the apex drops. Jump up here, put this uh, egg in here. As you can see, I've been collecting lots of eggs. I got, oh, that's a fertilized one that goes in here. I've got 74 dodo eggs, 74 dodo eggs, and that's if they've had no more since the last time I've gathered some, which they have. Alright folks, I'll show you the dodos, and <laughs> what a way to end the episode with dodos. As you can see, the poop pig is missing, poop monster. That's because the poop monster now lives in the chicken coop, the dodo coop. Yep. And uh, I try to put them all on top of these catwalks so that way their eggs would fall down. But unfortunately something, something attacked me and everybody went running and so most of them fell off. Uh, I have this guy, an Overraptor. You tame these by uh, knocking them out regularly like every other, well not every, like most all other tames. But you can't give them meat, you have to give them eggs. In fact, they only eat eggs to tame. Once you tame them, then they'll eat meat. See, his food is at 100. But he, I don't have any eggs in the uh, in the trough. Once you tame them, you can feed them meat. But to tame them, you gotta give them eggs. Which is not a problem with all of these eggs. All of these egg layers. We're gonna do the uh, special episode you guys got oil for me? We're going to do the special episode, maybe next episode, on why I need that many eggs. Do you have, you do have oil for me. Oh, while I'm in here, I can go ahead and get the crops, can't I? Hello, darling. You got some crops for me. 215, 215, 254. Oh, yes. Give me the food, please. All right, I don't need the seeds. You can hold on to them for me. I think we've come to the end of another day. Who knows, maybe the next time we see the greenhouse, I'll have another layer set up because all this seems to be doing good. I don't see any empty ones. I need to show you guys where to get the uh, plant species X. We are doing good enough on time right now that I can show you how to do that now because we're close enough. 
So down into the swamp we go. Hop off, parachute, just in case. You just auto gather, just you just do that. So we're looking for a special plant in particular. So there it is right there. So I'm just gonna circle around it, clearing it out so that way you guys can get a better look at it. But we don't want to harvest it just yet. So that way you guys can see it better. This is called a plant species Z. And uh it can actually it's actually a weapon. It's like a turret. Okay, right here it is. Now, I don't remember which attack I do to get the most of these. So I'm going to try a little bit of each. I'm going to do a little bit of right click. Oh, right there. You see all that? Okay, so we're just going to just going to find another. Oops, oops. I didn't mean to kill you, snake. Just looking for a plant species X plant. Excuse me, Parasaurotherium. You're in my you're in my path. So that last one was the right click. There's that um Dipalocadis we was trying that I was gonna show you that you could passive tame them if you want. Uh I wouldn't suggest doing it on officials because it would take hours and hours and hours. But you could do it. You could do it if you wanted to. It's okay, Snake. I've got to have your venom anyways for the uh, boss fights. So. Alright. I don't see any more right now, so we're just going to head back to base. Excuse me, coming through. Pardon me. Uh-oh. Did I get turned around? Am I heading back to base? I think this will be the quickest way. Oh, looky here. The Lord has sent me to kill you. Yeah, it's fine. So, the way you get those plant species X, the easiest way is with a tickle chicken. And you just right click on them, and it tickles them. Tickles those plant species X plants right out. We'll go plant that real quick. That'll be the end of the episode. Uh, so give to me these hop off run in here next to our chicken coop hush up dodos you crazy dodos and we're gonna put this guy in here so now we got plant species X that guy's gonna start growing it's not gonna be much good in here but if you plant them outside they will begin to uh, shoot at uh, different creatures that are nearby as long as they got fertilizer so you know what we'll end this episode on our tickle chicken in front of the whole army of tickle chickens <laughs> how about that folks it's an army of tickle chickens so folks remember Oh, it didn't work. I was hoping I could do both at the same time. All right. Let's see if I can. Oh, it didn't work. All right, then. Trust in the Lord, folks.